Hi, we're Kirsten and Lewis and we live in our VW Crafter named Cora. This week we're leaving the UK as we get on a ferry to head over to Calais. We're going to explore Belgium, the Netherlands and a few places we haven't quite decided on yet. So if you want to join the adventure, let's go. Howdy. We are currently in the wonderful city of Cardiff. Stopping off to cook some food because we're on our way to Dover. Well, actually we stopped because I needed a pee and then we need fuel. But we're thinking now because it's so late and we're not gonna get to Dover until gone 12 o'clock that maybe we should cook and eat now. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna pee, we're gonna cook and eat, we're gonna get fuel and then we're gonna be back on the road again. And I feel like we're probably gonna get there about 1 a.m. at this point. But our ferry is tomorrow at five to seven. So I'm gonna be tired, but it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. We yeah. can sleep on the ferry. This is, well, if you've watched videos before, you know that I don't drive. This is where it would have come in handy for you. Yeah, can sleep on the journey. Yeah, I don't generally sleep a lot anyway. I'll sleep on the journey too. Don't sleep on the journey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm all right. I just, I think we should eat because it's like, I don't know what time it is. Oh wait, it's 20 to nine now and we haven't had tea, so. Tea time. My belly's gurgling. Let's go. So for dinner tonight, we've got one of the old classics that we use, the Greek bread with lamb, halloumi, salad, and then mint sauce all over it. Um, we cook this one quite a lot in here because it's quite easy and it's really good as well. So guess who forgot to put hyperlapse off guys? But in this video, I'm basically saying we got to the parking spot at 3 a.m. and now it's 5 a.m. and we're just headed to the ferry, very tired, but excited. We're still... Oh my God, oh my God, did you feel that one? Yeah, we're still in the oh port and this boat is going side to side like oh. mad. Oh my God. Oh my god, can you feel that? I feel like my head's going funny. Oh, I've never been on a boat like that. Oh my god. I thought something was wrong with the van. I thought the van was like doing something weird. Oh uh, it's only an hour or so in oh, there, so. We need to get out. We need to go because it's gonna shine. We've never actually been on a P&O ferry before. We've been on the DFDS and that's always been pretty good. I think we've been on there a couple of times. The price for the ferry was really good. It should have been £80, but we went in half term instead. So it was £167 return. When we looked at the Euro Tunnel, it was just under £500 return. So obviously we weren't going to do that. But we we're pretty impressed with this boat. Like it's got an arcade, which I didn't know any of the ferries had. I took this video just to kind of show how bad the waves were, but they don't actually look that bad in this video, but they were worse in person. We also had a look around in the duty free shop. It was pretty big, so I'm just kind of filming this to show you how big it is, but we didn't buy anything because we couldn't get into now and we weren't sure what was a good price for the things that we liked. But when we got off the ferry, we had a look and some things were actually pretty good. So we'll probably buy some stuff on the way back. One's a spare. Yeah, just in case this one falls off. Yeah. Where we think in aesthetically. Do you reckon on the right? Like in where the number play is, but on the other side, do you think? Or like on the, like, okay. do you reckon? Maybe low down a bit. I was gonna say you just wanna let everyone know that you weren't sick. Yeah. I was a big boy. <laughs> we did good. Well I don't know like what it's like normally, but to me and to you that was it felt like a rough crossing. It was the 
the waves weren't like massive but it was like the boat was shaking and yeah i felt quite sick did you feel sick a little bit of certain parts the waves were quite big mind there was some like crashing over the front window of the boat yeah, and but everything i've seen like videos before uh, of like waves and yeah the view of where the chairs fall around <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah so we just got to calais now and we're just waiting to get off the boat um hopefully kirsten doesn't drive down the wrong side of the road give you a little story so much faith in me <laughs> once, once upon a time when we were in the in the t4 we were in amsterdam and kirsten took a turn in we were driving didn't feel right then we realized we were going the wrong way up a bus lane to be fair that wasn't my fault can't fully remember what happened right now i'm trying to find them um, like get the maps up ready i was in control of the vehicle but it wasn't my fault <laughs> no because the sat nav told us to turn down there yeah but there was a basically it was like lane bus lane bus lane lane and she went on this bus lane, which was the wrong side. I disagree. It was definitely the wrong side, but <laughs> I disagree. It would have been that cool. it was fully my fault. If we had this camera then and we were filming, the realization when a bus starts coming towards us, that would have made for good content. Yeah. I do remember the bus coming towards us, and you must have been like, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was just there like, oh, there's a bus coming. <laughs> yeah, was, um, we survived. It was late at night as well, so there was hardly anything on the road. I think that's what threw it off. There was no yeah. cars on the road. So I, it's just like, yeah, it was stupid. There was like six days. That was when the old city camp was in Amsterdam. Oh. RIP. That, that was, was such a good campsite. The best. So today we are getting off the boat and we are going to stop in Dunkirk and look at some stuff from the war Bunkers! Bunkers and we'll see what's about and then we'll hopefully well we'll definitely get into Belgium at least today yeah oh my god my head's so naughty after being outside for all that journey yeah we ah. we sat outside the whole basic well basically the whole journey because I don't know it's, it was too warm inside yeah it was quite stuffy and that mixed with the anxiety that I was going to constantly throw up was wasn't mixing well so we went outside and we were chilling it was nice it wasn't too cold yeah it wasn't too cold my brain thought that it was going to be a good idea to just walk around the whole time and then I realised that was not working we done that for ages and it was making me feel sick <laughs> She's like, Lou, need to sit down. <laughs> Lou, need to sit down. You're like, I'm not sitting down. <laughs> but then yeah. we compromised. We stood outside for a bit and then we sat outside. And that was perfect. Yeah. I think if it was cold or raining though, oh, I think that would have been rough. Yeah. We survived though. Back was high five. Yes. So we're in Dunkirk, looking at all the bunkers from the war. It's like, it's not nice history, but it's history. So it's like, it's nice to say that we've been here and seen it. We are back at the van now, we've got really nice views out of our window and we're going to make some beans on toast. So we are now in Newport, it's probably pronounced better than that but there's a Welsh Newport as well so that's how we're saying it. And there's one in the Isle of White. Oh yeah, there's one in the Isle of White. We actually are, we were going to park by the marina 
So the parking would have been like up by here. And then as we drove up, it said no vans or motorhomes, campers, caravans. But literally we just found a space along this road. So that worked well. And now we're gonna go have a look at the marina and there's like a boat in there. Like, how would you describe what that boat is? It's not washed up, I'm assuming they've put it there. Um. There's a boat. It's We're gonna go see boat. boat. There's a land boat. I'm yet to see any chip places because the national dish of Belgium is chips. So this is where we've parked. Let's go for a wander. See the coat? Yes, our coats. We uh, had very kindly gifted. Newport has the biggest marina in Northern Europe. We were pretty tired after a long 24 hours, so we didn't visit the beach or the lighthouse, but we do know they're meant to be impressive. So if you walk to the left here, instead of right, you'll find them. This is Newport Calato, and of course, Kirsten wanted to walk up it. Just the warning, it does get slippery when the weather's bad. Can't park there, mate. We then went to see this boat called Circouf. Some kids were on it before we took these videos, so I really wanted to get on it, but I failed miserably. Think I need to work on my upper body strength. Oh, look at the lot. So we're gonna leave this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff if you enjoyed, and tune in next week where we're gonna be exploring Bruges.